Hello everyone and welcome to Codeflix. Today we will see something about template engines. So we will use EJS which stands for Embedded JS as our template engine. So if I open the official website of EJS that is Embedded JS, you will see something of this kind. So this opening bracket, opening angular bracket, then percentage. So if you are familiar with ASP.NET, then you will be familiar with these kind of things but it is easy so you will catch it up so no need to worry about that so we will see the use of template engines today so let's start first of all we will see how to install EJS so in by opening the command prompt we will write npm that is node packet manager then install then the name of the template engine that is EJS and if you want to save it as a dependency you will write slash dash dash save and then press enter so as you can see the install has started and it will take some time to install and then it will get installed in your PCs so as you can see the a package is installed now we are ready to use EJS so we will start using the EJS template engine so this is the code from the last video so we will use this app variable in call the EJS so I'll write app dot set and then open the brackets and then in the brackets I'll write view engine and give a comma and then write EJS which is the name of the engine semicolon so if we want to use this EJS temp template engine then we, we will have to create a folder called views folder in our directory so this is the node.js directory which I am using so I will create a new folder and give it name views so you can see the folder is created and I will take the index.html file which we created a few videos ago and paste it here and now we can use this so in the last video we send a simple text called hello to home page to the page but now we will send an html file so if we want to send an html file we will write send file then give the location of the file so I will remove this and then I'll write underscore underscore directory name dir name and then I'll give a plus and in quotes I'll give the name of the file that is index.html so as you can see we have given the directory name which will be the node.js but we haven't given the name of the views folder so if we use engine then it automatically takes the name finds the file from the view folder so we'll save it and then run this file using node mon. so I'll write node mon name of the file that is app so as you can see the file has started running the server has started so I'll open the browser so now if I open the localhost that is 127.0.0.1 colon 3000 so as you can see we have this HTML page served or rendered on our browser so this is the basic HTML form which we made 